providing the opportunity for disabled students to learn include Florida, Georgia, Indiana, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. He is only eight years old, but Peyton Marquez has learned that no challenge is insurmountable. He, along with his mom, dad, and big brother, climbed to the top of Half Dome in Yosemite National Park. Carolyn Costello has their inspiring view from the top. I saw the valley and it was all green and stuff. And I saw mountains and the car is like really small. He is only eight years old, but Peyton Marquez has looked at life from a unique and amazing perspective. I've been high on a building, but not that high. Seeing the world from the top of Half Dome in Yosemite National Park isn't something most kids have experienced. But Peyton, diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, has a lot of living to do. His mom, dad, brothers Logan and Brayden are going to help him do it. This is a hard diagnosis to get. and. But this is our story, and we're living it. And like any good story, there's going to be laughter, there's going to be tears, and you're going to fight for the hero, and he is definitely our hero. DMD results in muscle degeneration. It's considered a terminal illness. The family, devastated by the diagnosis last year, soon realized now is the time to live life to its fullest. The first experience on their list, climbing to the top of Half Dome. Both Bonnie and I kind of shed a tear as Peyton was running around up there because it was just, um, it's a, it was a once in a lifetime opportunity for him. Peyton, of course, had a lot of support. In fact, every step of the way, Peyton's dad, Ethan, and some friends took turns, carrying all 55 pounds of him on their backs. The final 400 feet were the most steep and scary. I thought me and my dad were going to fall backwards, but I had to lean forward. If I went, leaned backwards, everybody would fall backwards and everybody would fall off. So I, I just looked forward and leaned forward so we wouldn't fall off. And that's how they made it to the top, where Peyton played in blue skies and white clouds. He even found a patch of snow where he made snowballs and angels. A triumph for this family, and they hope an inspiration to others. And that was Carolyn Costello yeah. reporting, certainly an inspiration for Quite others. Quite a storyteller. Mm -hmm. Go, Peyton, go. I know. <laughs> All right. Still ahead here, a big twist in the story of a little girl that was allegedly forced to 